Chicago-based ambidextrous heavy metal guitar virtuoso Michael Angelo Etio is known for his lightning-fast guitar techniques as well as his inventions such as the double guitar which he prominently uses in his recordings and performances. He is also well known as a guitar instructor and has released several instructional videos demonstrating his techniques. Michael began playing guitar as a child and quickly developed an unusually fast guitar picking technique. After graduating from Northeastern Illinois University with a degree in music theory and composition, he became a session guitarist recording music for several restaurant chains, airlines, and sports teams. His recording career began when he joined ex-Steppenwolf singer Tommy Holland's heavy metal band Holland in 1984. Atlantic Records released the band's sole album, Little Monsters, in 1985, and the band broke up soon after. So, he started his own group, the Michelangelo Band, which did not release any material. Etio released his first instructional video in 1987 as part of Starlix Productions' Master Series. Along with singer Jim Gillette, bassist TJ Racer, and drummer Bobby Rock, Michael formed another band, glam metal group Nitro, in 1987. The group's first album, OFR, was released on Rampage Records in 1989, and the video for the single Freight Train featured Matteo playing a quad guitar, which he also invented. A second lineup of Nitro with Gillette and Michael, accompanied by Johnny Thunder and Ralph Carter, released HWDWS Hot Wet Driven With Sweat in 1992 before the group disbanded. He started a label, MACE Music, in 1993 and began his solo career in 1995 with the release of an instrumental full length, No Boundaries. Planet Gemini followed in 1997, and third album, Tradition, was included with his second instructional video, Jam with Angelo, in 1999. Fourth album, Lucid Intervals and Moments of Clarity, co credited to drummer Rob Ross, followed in 2000. Matteo launched Speed Kills Instructional DVD Series in 2003 and released compilation album Lucid Intervals and Moments of Clarity Part 2 in 2004. Studio album Hands Without Shadows arrived in 2005 featuring covers of Deep Purple, Metallica, Aerosmith, tributes to Randy Rhodes and Led Zeppelin and guest appearances by members of Creed and Whitesnake. A Hands Without Shadows DVD series was launched in 2006 and Speed Kills 2 was released the same year. The 2000 album, Two Times Again, featured remix versions of material from his first two solo albums and three more DVDs were released during that same year. The vocal-driven album, Hands Without Shadows Volume 2 Voices, arrived in 2009, featuring tributes to Eric Clapton, Dimebag Daryl, Van Halen, and others. The instrumental album, Intermezzo, followed in 2013, and the career-spanning compilation, Shred Force One, The Essential MAB, appeared on Red Pack Records in 2015. Michael has an extensive collection of around 100 guitars, which he has accumulated since the 1980s. Among his instruments are a Dave Bunker touch guitar, double neck with both bass and guitar similar to the Chapman stick, a mint condition 1968 Fender Mustang, a 1986 Fender Stratocaster, 1962 reissue, and several other vintage and custom built guitars. Among his custom made guitars is a 29 fret guitar made of military grade aluminum, which makes the guitar very light. For live performances, Michael is an exclusive user of Dean guitars, both electric and acoustic. In 2007, he designed and developed a signature guitar with Dean known as the MAB-1 Armor Flame. Another signature piece of equipment for Tio developed is the MAB Hands Without Shadows pickup, which he uses in his double guitar when touring. The pickup is specially designed for shred guitar and provides a clean tone Michael is accustomed to. The Armor Flame, Tio's signature guitar, uses EMG 81, 85, and SA pickups as the signature DMP pickups were still being developed at that time. 
Earlier on in his career, when he was first endorsed by Dean Guitars, he also embraced Dean's tradition of popularizing DiMarzio pickups and had used DiMarzios in his guitars. These include the DiMarzio PAF Super Distortion, sometimes using Super Distortion both in neck and bridge position as he did in his Gibson Charvel Circuit Board Double Guitar. This was the main setup during the recording of No Boundaries. Michael has also used pickups of other brands including Seymour Duncan, namely the Pearly Gates and JB Models, and also Bill Lawrence pickups. Currently, other than using EMGs in his signature guitar, he also has a collection of other brand pickups in his Dean Limited Edition collector's models such as DiMarzio Custom Super Distortions based on the Super 2 and Super Distortion in his USD Dean Time Capsule Blue Burst ML and Seymour Duncan pair he used in his USA Dean Collector's Edition Hardtail. Michael was the inventor of the double guitar, a V-shaped twin neck guitar which can be played both right and left handed. The first version of this instrument was actually two separate guitars simply played together as opposed to being one entity. A fine V was fastened to a snare drum in a left handed position while the other one was strapped around his shoulder. The next version of the guitar, as designed by Batia and guitar technician Penny Brett, featured a flight case latch attached to the back of each guitar, which could reportedly be assembled in five seconds. By far his most famous and definitely his most photographed double guitar is his USA Dean Mach 7 Jet double guitar along with its custom anvil flight case. One of his inspirations for the radical design was jazz saxophonist Rashawn Roland Kirk, who was known for playing two or three instruments simultaneously. Tio saw Kirk in concert during his teens and said the jazz musician, quote, blew his mind, end quote. When the double guitar was first used in concert, Michael noticed that guitars created a lot of feedback when played together. He decided he needed to invent a way to dampen the strings when both guitars were played at the same time, hence the invention of the MAB string dampener which is now available to buy from M-A-C-E Music. The double, the double guitar was recently named as the 8th coolest guitar in rock by online music magazine Gigwise. His iconic Dean Jet double guitar has been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Museum and was put on permanent display in February of 2012. This guitar was built by Mike Light for Dean Guitars. And as we all know, as well as the double guitar, Michelangelo also invented and designed the quad guitar. The guitar was originally built in conjunction with Gibson and built by Wayne Charwell in California. The top two guitars have seven strings while the bottom two have the regular six. The first quad, as used in the video for Nitro's Freight Train, was stolen in El Paso, Texas after the second show of Nitro's OFR tour. When Michael was performing in November of 2004, a young fan named Simon Jones and his father turned up with the guitar case which held inside the two top guitars of the quad is found by Mick Seymour. Dean designed and had Michael Light build a new quad guitar in 2008. The quad guitar was recently named the second coolest guitar in rock by Online Music Magazine. So in his years with Nitro, Michael used Boss Overdrive DS1 SD1 pedals in his later years, beginning with his first solo album, No Boundaries. The Tio used and still uses the original TS9 Tube Screener. He has vintage TS9 pedals in his studio that are only for recording and newer ones that he uses on tour. In the studio, the Tio also used the following effects pedals. Vintage Digitech Whammy, Dunlop Crybaby, Vintage Digitech 256 Multi-FX, Eventide Eclipse, Rocktron Chameleon Preamp, Rocktron Voodoo Valve Preamp, Rocktron Intel Flex, Rocktron Repliflex. During his years with Nitro, 
He used Randall amplifiers, however, he used Marshall amp early in his career, a JCM 800, which was modified mainly by Jose Arandando. In later years, he made particular use of a GCM 900 when recording No Boundaries and has primarily used this and other Marshall amps since. Currently, he typically uses Marshall JCM 2000 amps on tour, which also appear on his more recent studio records. And in the studio, he also uses the Marshall JMP1 preamp and Rocktron Chameleon and Voodoo Valve preamps. The TO's cabinet setup consists of 4x12 Marshall cabinets loaded with Celestion Vintage 30s and Greenbacks in mono and stereo. He uses Ernie Ball guitar strings favoring the 0.9 to 0.4. 42 models for soloing and most rhythm guitar parts while thicker gauge strings are used for detuned guitars. The acoustic gauge is normally from 0.10 to 0.47 or 0.11 to 0.52. Picks. For most of his career, Michael used Dunlop Jazz 3 picks as his guitar pick of choice and has used the teardrop shape of picks since he first started playing. However, in 2016, Michael released the Michelangelo Batille Signature 1.3mm Durapix Premium Shredder Jazz Shape Picked from Chromacast. These picks are a slightly larger version of his former favorite Dunlop Jazz 3 picks made with a different material. For his acoustic work, Michael will sometimes use different picks.